Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Representatives, ladies and gentlemen, I am Claire Lopez from the Center for Security Policy in Washington, D.C. I am here today to speak in defense of free speech. Free speech is the front line of defense of a free people. The freedom to speak one's beliefs, convictions, and opinions is the foundation of a free society. Without that ability, unconstrained by censorship, free, fear of reprisal, government, laws, or even societal conventions, a people must succumb to self-censorship, lies, and tyranny, and no longer be a free people. The Conference on Security and Cooperation in Europe Final Act from Helsinki in 1975 states very clearly, the participating states will re respect human rights and fundamental freedoms, including the freedom of thought, conscience, religious, religion or belief, in conformity with the purposes and principles of the Charter of the United Nations and with the United uh, Universal uh, Declaration of Human Rights. Then in Paris in 1990, the Charter for Paris uh, for a New Europe once again affirmed the right of every individual to freedom of expression. Following, in 1999, the OSCE Istanbul document likewise committed to fundamental freedoms, democracy, and the rule of law and affirmed the importance of the free flow of information as well as the public's access to information. And finally, at the OSCE summit meeting of December 2010 in Astana, Kazakhstan, the commemorative declaration uh, representing all 56 participating states of the OSCE reaffirmed its commitment to all of these earlier OSCE documents, including specifically respect for human rights, fundamental freedoms, democracy, and the rule of law. Thus, it is most concerning when the OSCE itself, through ODIR and the Human Dimension Meeting 2018, seeks to impose censorship and speech regulation through a speech code on participating members of civic society regarding speech that somewhere, somehow, somehow, sometime might find uh, offensive. Indeed, what is free speech for, if not the right to offend? After all, free speech, which is no incitement to violence, but merely the belief, opinion, even statement of fact by the speaker that needs and most deserves the freedom of speech protection. A priori or prior restraint curbs on freedom of speech have no place at OSCE, ODIR, oh or this OD, uh, HDIM meeting. Uh, we I'm kindly we, asking you to conclude. Please. Yes, we express our confidence today that OSCE, ODIR, and HDIM 2018, and all here today and following these proceedings online, will respect any measures, will reject, I'm sorry, any measures that suppress the universal human right to freedom of belief, expression, and speech. Thank you.